Just wasn't in the uh, best of moods today. So I thought I'd get started on the Mark III. Bring it back. Bring you some happiness. Bring you some joy. All right, um, so far, I just got the front nose off. I'm going to swap out that radiator with another uh, aluminum one. That one just blew a hole in it. Let's see, I got e brake cables. A new hood latch release, a new clutch, clutch kit. Um, a few other things, new wheels, tires. I might have gone over this list before, but uh, this, is, this is where we're at. So I'm about to drop this um, drop this training, you know, and, uh, and get to it. Ain't no outro. No intro. So we got the Mark III VR Turbo in here. Um, I was gonna go do the clutch, remain seal, and other stuff, but it's it's somewhat easier just to pull the whole thing. You know, all these all the Volkswagen and Mark III owners know that that motor mount or that tranny mount that's back there, and just trying to like wedge everything out is a little difficult. You know, and um. Yeah, like tweak the whole engine a certain way and then drop it a little bit just to get it around. It has this little like elbow on it in the back of there. Let me get you a picture. I mean, I I probably just show you a little bit later when it when it's out out, All right? But you can kind of see it back there. You can't. <laughs> right now, I'm draining power steering All right into a cup from Wendy's. They want to make a mess. And I think right after that, I should be pretty much good to go. I got one uh, one more motor mount on this side to deal with. That's that bolt right there. Can't see it, it's dark, I know. But uh, after that one, I'm probably gonna grab these, uh, these two lines for the oil cooler. Like the external oil cooler, I'll probably Drop these, this one here, and then this one here. And then we'll hit these these bolts that go in here for the subframe for, for the front radiator support really. And this will this will kind of just like like sink down a little bit. And then from there, you know, you can kind of just straight pull it right out. And without the whole, you know, back and forth wrestling match, which I really don't want to do. I want the easy way. So, why is it coming out again? I should probably start opening up some boxes. All right. We're going to get rid of this. All right. Stock fan setup. This whole setup right here is just, it's just too, it's too, there's not any more space in there. All right. So, I got us with some slim fans that are going to go in there. This thing sprung a leak. And tip it over it's gonna start throwing up but let me show you where it started you can kind of already see the problem all right this thing sprung a leak now yeah where did this leak you know where does damage come from it's from our inner cooler so I, underneath like I guess high boost or shifting or whatever this thing smacks right into the it's the radiator and then sprung that leak so what we're gonna have to do is well obviously we have another radiator right but for this one we're gonna have to make some sort of like bracketry or something to make sure that nothing like they have enough space that they won't be smacking into each other and creating more leaks and, and stuff so that's one that's one thing, the clutch, uh, pressure plate, flywheel. No no flywheel, actually, just clutch and, and pressure plate. And then we have uh, e-brake cables, right? Don't want to keep parking in gear. Want to be able to get click it up. Hood new, new hood, rest, hood release cable. I can't talk. New hood release cable. I think that one is over here. Right, that looks like it. 
All right, then I got a rear knock, knock sensor I gotta throw in there. These are new hood dampeners. All right, and something else. I got the air conditioning. That's what I gotta go back into the house. Yeah. We're, gonna do, we're, gonna, we're gonna throw air conditioning back on. And has a little crack in it. See if I could get you a shot of that. It's from this driveway. You know? This entire look, that's that's all the oil. It's just from sitting here. But you can see the damage. It's just it's entirely from my you know my new driveway. And I had the same issue in down in Long Island, my mom's driveway. I clapped this. This is like the third oil pan this VR6 turbo has seen. And it's it's quite annoying because you have to keep welding on a new a new, you know, drain, like oil return bung and stuff. It's you know, I just want to. I don't want to do this anymore. I want. I need a, a permanent fix, a permanent solution. So, we're gonna be taking off this pan, and bringing it to, uh, my boy Tim. His he's also doing the he's doing the valve cover for the for the B five right now. He's like a little he's like a fabricator here in Connecticut. His shop is called Beast Cars Car Beast Car Beast Car Beast Productions. It's either Beast Cars or Car Beast Productions. One of those, one variation of that. But we're going to have him weld a, uh, like a little crash plate reinforcement thing, you know, for the oil pan. And then um, and he, we're also talking about doing another intake manifold. Uh, one that's going to be set up for water and meth. And he had this really complicated explanation about how it's going to work and why he needs X amount of nozzles, the placement, the runners, the velocity stacks. I almost got confused and lost. I was just like, how much and how long is it going to take? That's what I want to get to. You know, like you're going to, besides when we're not out here trying to like break any records anyway, we just want a, a real, you know, quick streetable street car, you know, and this is, um, this car has got a few kills already, right? I've, we killed a few Porsche turbos, a few BMWs, no no M's or anything like that. But the Porsches were brand new. Like when they come off the like the the trailer with the plastic, like on the nose and on the door, so they don't get like damaged during transportation. We beat one of those with this <clears throat> on boost, and it uh it ran pretty good. Got the wave and truck on the deuce and everything. But we um what else is going on? Oh yeah, wheel, new wheels and uh replacing. I'm gonna replace uh hub bearings as well. I think I got them. They're in the back seat. Right there. So we're gonna press those in. The pads and the rotors, I believe, are they are new. They're just rusty. Because the car hasn't moved in a while. But I got the this drilled slotted nonsense. It's not even slotted, it's just drilled. And some uh some new swearing pads. But wheel studs. We're gonna be throwing the wheel studs on there. And then also, we're gonna swap out these coilovers. We have a newest set of coilovers that we're gonna we're gonna use. I have them already installed on the Mark II, but I think it's not gonna see any any real like driving time for a minute. So I'm a I'm gonna donate them to this, and then go from you know go from there. These are all wheels. I think those these are just like stock, They're painted gold. Listen, I know if anyone's judging like some of the stuff you see I did to this car, you have to keep in mind, I was a way younger. I was way younger. I started this, this car maybe like eight years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. You know, um, so it, it it definitely is gonna be reflective by, uh, you know, <laughs> the mindset at a certain age, you know, but um, it's all good. Got another set of, of, uh, of leathers. I don't know if these the Corrado leathers that I have in the house are actually gonna fit in the Mark III, All right? But uh, these, cause these front seats are like chopped and I don't have another set. And Mark III's are, are not really like easy to come across, especially with leather. So we're gonna throw the Corrado seats. How I got Corrado seats instead of uh, Mark III seats is, you know, it's another story, but it happened. The button. I got another button. I don't like I don't like anything that says NRG. Even this is the NRG wheel, but it doesn't really say NRG on it, you know. So you kind of flex like it's maybe a little, like not not as cheap as it really was.
but the button I'm gonna change. I have like a little Volkswagen one. It says Wolfsburg. This isn't a Wolfsburg, but I couldn't find like a regular button that I like. But we're gonna we're gonna swap that out, All right? And after that, we're gonna hit the streets. I think um, get you a little view of the exhaust. A straight, straight, straight pipe, super straight. Okay, and we're just gonna do that straight pipe to uh, uh, the muffler that's not here. <laughs> okay. So, that we shall have to figure out. Okay. Hold on, I still, is that my new e-brake cable right here? All right, so I still got one new e-brake cable. And that's the one we're gonna replace over there. And your boy does not have a muffler. I don't even know if I have a spare muffler from any other car that I can even fake. This shit is OD loud. That we'll, we'll come back around to. We'll come back around to this muffler situation and how to tone it down. Probably not. All right, animal outro. Next couple of clips you're probably gonna see is just uh. Was uh, having a thing in the air, and I gotta go back inside for what parts? These are clutch stuff right here, All right? I forget what's in this. Now I gotta start opening up some boxes. Anyway, no outro. I'll be back. cleaning to do before I throw it back in. Look at that. This is looks like this is starting to melt. We have to fix some things. Rearrange some stuff. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna clean this all up. And make it respectable. Like something been living in here. Lots of work to do. But well, we'll see if we can make it happen pretty fast. Cause I want to get on the I wanna, I wanna put it back on the floor and get moving. So as far as the, the muffler goes, I'm gonna have to do something because I can't just go straight pipe. It's a little too loud. Open this still a, a muffler in here. Yes. Shit. Alright, that wasn't good. Alright, so this there's a muffler in here. And the front lip, which is hideous. It's oil, gas, sub. Alright, so. Had them paint this car. I told them not to paint the front lip. They did it anyway. But I'm gonna take the heat gun to this. I really wanted it black. I thought about wrapping it, uh, you know, carbon fiber. Like I'm gonna do the hood, but I doubt I'm gonna do that because it's gonna look super rice. So I think I might just bed liner this black because I really like the two tone, you know. Stuff. What is this? This is what radio, radio, radio stuff. And some caliper brackets, uh, alternator, and a vacuum block. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go back with the stock muffler. <laughs> Not what you want to hear. I know. I know. Okay. I know. Stock muffler. What? Yeah. That's what we're gonna rock. The stock muffler. But 
There's no suitcase in here anymore. There's no resonator. There's nothing. It's just straight pipes, three inch. I need two hands to get this probably. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I believe this is a stock one. Stock, yep. Got the Volkswagen emblem on it. And all I did was I welded an adapter to three inch. So we'll clean this up. And we're just gonna send it like this, you know? It's not gonna be super loud, but it won't be super quiet. And it's kind of like the balance that I want, you know? And I know it's gonna fit. So from, I think it just sits like right about, like right about there, like relative to the, the car. So it's not that far that I, I need like a small elbow. You know, we gotta get this clamp off. And then we just, I gotta weld some sort of elbow to make it connect to there. And then that should be the exhaust all done. Uh, right now, I'm gonna take another union break. I'm gonna come back out and then get started with the stuff. All right, the transmission's off. It's actually, uh, it doesn't look that bad. There's not a whole lot of clutch material in here. There is some, but it's not a whole lot. Like, I've, I'm seeing it caked on before. I think I have a new throwout bearing somewhere up in this biatch. If I find it, it's going to go in. This one's not really making that much noise. It's not making noise at all, you know? It's more like, if, you know, I'm already doing it, so do it. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull the truck around. I'm going to wash this thing off, right? And then, uh, you know, hit it with some bed liner. Do a drain and fill, and then... We're gonna get on to this stuff over here. <clears throat> All right, we'll be back. All right. So, the clutch isn't destroyed or anything. It just looks like it couldn't handle the power. It's got some real, like, just burnt spots on it. Like right here, it just couldn't handle the power, it looks like. Uh, but we might be able to save this and throw it into a stock car, All right? And up on the shelf with the other brown ones, <laughs> other fucked up ones. Let's just, just keep collecting these. That one looks cooked. It's an unsprung. Let me see that one. That's not what we're throwing on the car. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that'll fit. Looks like it'll fit. You already know this is not going to hold either. <laughs> oh, this is going to burn too on the back. We're gonna save these old ass clutches for I don't know what. But now I know. This one, this one didn't even make it that long. This was in, I might put this in the Jetta Coupe. But this only lasted like a week. <laughs> and I turned the boost up to like 14 pounds or something and it was over. It was over, it started spinning. So, I think the, uh, we're just gonna change the rear main seal since we're in here. We got some oil, just like, we're gonna clean this bitch up. All right, we'll see what's next. And this gotta get resurfaced a little bit. It looks okay, kinda. It's actually not that bad. Look at this duck clutch material. Look at that. Yeah, this clutch was never gonna make it. It was never gonna hold on. Ain't no intro. All right. I'm about to, uh, I'll probably hit this with a little degreaser. It's not actually really that dirty. And uh, I thought about hitting some a little bit of that heat reflective tape because I got some 
a little bit of, of, of melting stuff in there. Not nothing crazy, you know. But uh, I guess every little bit helps, All right? And we'll we'll clean up down here. It's really not that bad. It's not that dirty in here. But I just want it nice, and that's all. Uh, over here with the oil pan, here's what we got. Okay, we welded up our our little issue. I put uh, some diamond plate <laughs> on the bottom of this thing and just you know, hit it with some paint so it won't rust up. And this should be, uh, this should protect the uh, the pan from clapping anymore. So a new gasket, I'm about to throw that back in there. The rear main seal is already done. Uh, and after that, I'm just gonna clean up the block around, you know, just go around and get rid of any leaks or sweating or anything that I might see that might be a concern. And smash all this shit back in there. Um, I think right after the pan, I'm going to do the clutch flywheel pressure plate stuff. All right. And then we're waiting for our transmission to dry. All right. I just, um, nothing special. I just hit it with some more black paint. Once it's done drying, see I got the heater on it. Once it's done drying, we'll, um, you know, do a little drain and fill. Smash that back together. So hopefully by this weekend, you know, this um this will be back on the floor, making some noise. You know, and we going fast. So I'll see you in the next one. Ain't no outro. All right, we back. So, uh, oil pans up. All right. Um I found this. I don't really like it. All right. Looks like there's some weird damage that's going for that coolant line. So we'll find a little placement, a little bung nipple for that. I'm pretty sure I got some laying around. <coughs> if I don't, I'm going to send it anyway. Um, I'm also looking for like a little elbow here because it's like getting kinked somewhat. And uh, but right now we're going to we're going to go for the pressure plate clutch flywheel. Right. And go uh, tranny and hit it with the drain and fill. Yo, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that uh, I have this thing back together in like a couple of days. Like on the floor, coil over is done, soak in real nice and deep, like. <laughs> Get in there real good. This shit is not even really that dirty. So, this is a good thing. Very good. But I do want it to this be a little bit cleaner. That's all. All right. I'm gonna wipe all this shit down. And next, I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. Let it drip. <clears throat> All right, let me get my uh, my clutch stuff, and um, I'll show you what that looks like next. All right, MK3 VR6 Turbo. It's a sixty dash one ball bearing, turbonetics turbo. I think it's a point. I forget what you know on the hot side. It's like an eighty one or eight nine or something like that. Uh, what else I do to this thing? I think Tim's gonna make me another intake manifold, <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna rock the one we have for right now. There's really nothing else special done to this block. It's just got a you know trick little valve cover on it. You know short runners. That was kind of like necessary. You know aluminum crack pipe. Uh, SIA plug. SA SAI plug. Um, ain't nothing really else special about this, you know, there's VR on 12 valve on boost. I got like another head. It's down at, um, at Colvin's, which is like the local machine shop back home in Long Island. And you know, it's got, it's got cams and valves, like black nitrate valves, super tech springs and all that good stuff. I didn't finish paying for it yet. So, and I haven't been back down there in a minute, but I was really going to put that head on a different car, but. I figure it makes no sense not to put it on this one because it's it's not standalone. It's a chip. It's a chip tune, you know, C2 Motorsports. So, like, the parameters are already set. So, you might as well just, like, throw everything you can at it. So, maybe, like, 
I should put that head with the cams on it and then throw some water meth. And that's what Tim's trying to talk me into. He's trying to talk me into uh, of short runners that have not just six fucking bungs, but seven. I'm going to have to have him explain it, but I think the gist of it is, is that each, each for a like direct port for each one of the water meth nozzles, right? And then there's a seventh one, an extra one that's supposed to trick the intake air temperature, so the car will actually you know advance the timing and then make use of the uh, the higher octane and lower temperatures. You know, in theory, will that actually work? I don't know, but it's enough talking. I am about to get to this uh, this clutch. And I'm going to go for the transmission after that. And speaking of which, I'm pretty sure it's dry. Yeah. All right. Good. Good enough. Full send. <laughs> it's going. All right. This transmission is actually has LSD in it. And there's a video on that. But it's, it's, so, it's so many years old. It's been like a long time. But it's on the channel. It's kind of a not the best fit. None of my videos are really edited or, or really that great, to tell you the truth. But they're a little choppy. Ain't no intro. You know how it is. But this thing's dry. I'm about to do um do clutch, drain and fill. We'll come back to this. All right. Clutch, pressure plate, flywheel is on. I'm gonna change the uh, oil drains. One of those magnetic Mishimoto. Shitimoto. Uh, actually, I really hope it does. It actually does what it's supposed to do. So that's that. I'm about to pop. Um, I'm about to go fuck with this transmission now. New throw oil bearing, Here's the clutch kit. So, looks pretty standard. Yeah, nice and smooth, nice and new. This one wasn't totally cooked, you know, but. This guy wasn't playing it, but it's out of here now. So I'm just gonna probably spray this with some brake cleaner, get a little dab of grease on here, this little pivot ball thing, and uh, swap that over and send it. Everything else looks good, a little pin. So, uh, yeah, let me swap all this over and I'm gonna slap it on there while we're getting closer and closer. In the diff oil. All right, about to fill it back up with some mobile one. I have some liquid molly around here someplace, but I just can't find it, man. I don't want to just be like searching for hours through the house looking for it. So I'm pretty sure we're just gonna we're gonna rock with the mobile one. All right, just to get it over with and uh, and send it. All right, in the meantime, I got some some exhaust wrap. I'm gonna wrap this down pipe. All right, that's one. All right, this just came in the mail today and I happened to find another one. So, we're gonna rice it up. <laughs> Every time I see like gold wrap on people's like bills or whatever, I'm like, rice. I always think that shit is rice. But I actually have melting things, like things that are getting too hot because of the turbo and the down pipe, so. It's functional rice for me. So, um, I gotta run back in the crib. I gotta get another bottle of diff oil. Well, get that some time to drain. All right, we'll be back. Next shot. Um, I'm probably gonna be cleaning this up. You'll probably see some of the gold nonsense and the heat wrap on there. Turbo blanket is in this box someplace. So, turbo blanket's gonna go on there. The heat wrap, uh, the, the gold tape bullshit. And I'm um, just going to wipe it all down. Everything over here is pretty much set to go back in. I'm trying to see. Let me go look at the parts and see what I'm missing. Hood dampener. Release cable. Okay, knock sensor. We want to get that out the way. Let's, let's definitely do that before we, we pop this bitch back in. All right, all right I'm going to go get the diff oil. And we're going to get right back to it. And, and that transmission, like, cover plate, I got to clean that up before I slap it back in there as well. And this is this stops, like, rust and, or not, not rust, but, like, rocks and whatever from, like, ricocheting inside of your bell housing. 
And if you don't have that, you know, I've seen, you know, flywheel teeth get all mangled up from things getting in there. And there's only two, it's kind of a weird design. There's only two freaking 10 mil bolts that hold this thing to your transmission. It's like a little piece of like metal or whatever. All right. All right, I'm gonna uh, let me go get the diff oil. I'll be right back. Manual intro. So that's all riced up. Uh, heat wrap is on there. I'm gonna run to the auto parts store real quick because we want to. Where is it? Can I, I can never get a good shot of shit when I need it. What? This one. Here we go. That. All right, that's a return coolant for the turbo, but. I don't know what's going on with it, but we're gonna run to the auto parts store and just see if we can replace that because I don't want to reach back there to try and change that before this all goes back in. But everything else is done. I'm about to, uh, let me just run to the store. Let me go get that part, drop this bitch in there, and then we can get onto the intercooler and replacing the radiator, slim fans, and then we're onto suspension stuff. All right, let's go, bro. Where you at, fatty? Come on. All right. <clears throat> Got a new elbow on there. It's like, a, let me show you the one I took off. All I did was cut it, shortened it up. But, let me see what I snipped it. But here is where it's messed up. that right there i don't know where that's coming from but uh whatever it is it's not happy so they didn't have one of these 180s but i took a 90 you know just chopped it shorter should work just fine uh i'll throw it back in all right so uh she's back in and um i think all i gotta do is just snap up all the plugs I never drain the oil. I did drain the oil. I got to do power steering. And and then start doing there's this radiator slim fan stuff. And axles. It's a short little list, you know. He'll hook the, uh, the downpipe back up. I got to find the, um, the turbo blanket, which is somewhere in this box. And then, um, yeah, from, from there, we, sh we should be good to go. You know, put it back on the ground. I still got coilovers to do. Uh, I'll show you what's in there right now. These are old. And I just want to replace them with something that's got, like, a metal ring. I don't even know if that really makes a difference. I don't even know who makes these coilovers. But I got them on another GTI, a VR6 that I got in Miami and drove up. Ended up swapping these out. Come here, butters. Don't step in there. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, buddy. Sit down. It'll sit down eventually. <laughs> yeah. The oil cooler is what loosely mounted. I just got to bolt it back up, but it's in the place it was supposed to be. Run the wire harness back across the front for, uh, I think it's headlight stuff. And then I gotta like gotta make some sort of bracket so that my intercooler, which is over there, right, is no longer smacking into my radiator or my new one. Well, the new one is in that box. And then e-brake cables. It's so, it's actually low key a, a long list. It's low. It's low key a long list. But I'm gonna breeze through it as fast as possible. You know, I uh, the wheel. The wheel studs are, uh, are in here as well. I gotta make sure they even freaking fit. Or they're the right even uh, thread picture. I got no clue. But we won't get back to it. I'm hungry, I'm about to go eat. These dogs are hungry. They gotta eat. And uh, we'll come back to the Mark III VR6 Turbo GTI. It's actually a driver's edition. Uh, that was the original color. It was the, you know, Smurf blue, but the kid I bought it from had the car rattle can silver. And um, I think it was, you can kind of see right there. That's like the silver I believe he had on there. But, you know, I don't really like anything that's just like 
a stock color. You know, as you see the B5, I'm going to change all the colors just slightly, you know, to my taste uh, for all my cars. But uh, I know it's, it's kind of blasphemous. You know, some people are not going to be happy that I repainted a driver's edition, a non-driver's edition color. It's close, but it's not the actual thing. You know. Even if I had the, um, an Amola yellow, I'd probably paint that something different. You know, like uh, yellow, but definitely just like an off. I like that E46 M3 yellow, that mustard yellow, Phoenix yellow, I think it's called. I always wanted to do a car in that color. You know, but like I said, we shall see. We'll see what happens. You know, let me go get some food and we'll, uh, we'll come right back to it. The wheels are over there. It's a lot to do. It's not really. All right. Ain't no outro. All right. We're kind of getting amped up now because we are upon completion right now. All right. Uh, power steering is in. <clears throat> Ooh, downpipe is on. Electrical stuff is all snapped up. Starter, like, um, battery trays back. At this point, we can uh, we can actually put fluids in it. Yeah, we could throw oil in it. We could throw coolant in it. No, we can't. We can't throw coolant yet. I still got to do the radiator, the axles, uh, the rest of the exhaust, and then the, the front clip. You know, it's jammy. We're going to be on the floor tomorrow. We're going to be on the floor tomorrow. We're going to be making some noise. Jerk. We out here.